Hello everyone, welcome to uh, welcome to RQLab.net uh, video. This time it's not going to be a presentation. Uh, I'm not going to teach you anything. I'm just going to show you what I've been working on. Um, yep, it's a little bit of a show off. Um, sorry about that, but higher forces intervene and I can't really share the exact specifics of this workflow. So I'm just going to show you what um, what I've been doing and at the same time demonstrate what's possible with Dynamo and Revit uh, Revit API to be uh, to be exact so um, not too long ago a um, a person, a client has contacted me and asked about possibility of automating um, documentation workflows and I was given the sample file that you can see on the on my screen. It's just a bunch of kernel walls. Um, and the question the question was: Is it possible to automate creating a floor plan of each one of these walls uh, and creating an elevation, and then throw in that stuff with some annotations on a sheet? And I was like, Yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, I pretty sure I can uh, I can prototype something really quickly in Dynamo and that's how I went about this. So this is exactly what I'm going to show you today. Um, so we have this floor plan, uh, it just has a bunch of kernel walls and the idea is that we create a uh, floor plan for each one of those. So I'm going to just launch up Dynamo and pull up one of the definitions that I was, uh, that I was working on. Dynamo got a little too big, uh, so just bear with me for like one second. Does it fit it to my screen? Okay. So, really quickly, again, I'm not going to go through uh, all the details, just a general overview of the few steps that I had to take to, uh, to make this happen. So, first thing that I did um, was collect all of the of my walls by level and then I made sure I excluded anything that might be a curve based kernel wall like uh, uh, something that you can't really document with an elevation so I excluded all these and then I went on and I did a couple of things to it um, first I created a floor plan for each one of them and bounded around that kernel wall and then I took the crop box and since I knew I'm going to be laying those out on a, uh, on a sheet it was important for me that and, you know they're not all over the place and there are some walls going north south some walls going east west there might be some diagonal walls in there so i wanted to make sure i rotate each one of them so that the exterior of the wall is facing uh down on the screen so i did that there and i uh readjusted my crowd box afterwards after i made those changes to it um through a template at the new view uh with a custom name and then at the very end I threw in a couple of dimensions just to make it look good. Um, so let me just demonstrate this really quickly. I'll set this to true, run this, and then we'll jump back to Revit to see what happens. This shouldn't take too long. Voila. So you can see right away we got a bunch of plans that showed up. And I'm just going to show one of those. So this is the idea that you would select um, one of these walls and then bound it around it and then create some dimensions um, uh, that show the sizes of each one of these kernel wall panels um, and I pretty much did the same thing for all of them so here's another one and you can see an example of the wall uh, like a corner wall that I wanted to exclude so that's not um, that's not part of that so just again on an example um, you know just the dimensions for each one of the kernel walls and the overall dimension so this was step one so I had all of my views um, and then Step two was to create all of the elevations. So let's go back to let's go back to Dynamo and pull up some uh, 
some of the stuff that was working next. And again, very similar workflow. You pick the level, grab all the walls and exclude all of the walls um, with the curve in them. And then this was actually a little shorter definition. All I had to do was just create a view looking at the wall from the exterior of the wall. And then just crop it around that, throw a template on it, and then add some dimensions to it. Um, so let me just run that really quickly. And this is a much faster process because there's uh, there's nearly not as much stuff going on with the crop boxes and rotating them, all that stuff. Um, so there you go. That's what that's what this looks like. Um, so there's a view template and there's a dimension for each one of the panels and overall uh, height and width dimension for the corner wall. Um, and then you can start adding more stuff to it, like tagging and you know all kinds of things. Um, but this was more like a proof of concept type of demonstration. So, um, and then the final step, uh, let's just go back to Dynamo, was throwing all of these uh, and kind of disperse when there's a plan elevation on the sheet. Um, and the most, possibly the most efficient way of doing that. Um, so, I took a couple of different approaches. First, I was looking at it, uh, looking at the grid layout. That was working really well, so I ended up just uh, I ended up doing something totally different. Um, and you can see in just one second, so there you go. And there we are. So just like I mentioned, the goal was to grab a plan and a corresponding elevation and put them on a sheet together, align them, um, and do that for all of them. Um, going from top left corner to bottom right corner. And you can see that there's still some room on the sheet down here, but the idea was that if both plan and elevation didn't fit in that space over here, then I would just jump over to the next sheet and start the same process all over again. Um, so kind of sequentially laying them out from top left in pairs, plan elevation, and going through this. Um, so again, this is just a small sample file. It's not a huge, uh, it's not a huge file, but you can you can see already the kind of time savings that we're talking about here. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, Obviously, this wasn't the angle. I'm not nearly as comfortable with Dynamo as uh, as I might be with the uh, with the Revit toolbar. At the end of the day, I ended up creating um, just a tool on the Revit toolbar, um, just like one of these buttons that I made for Grimshaw. Um, and yeah, yeah. Thank you so thank you so much for tuning in, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy this.